you know, us as wrestling fans, we have a reputation for being big time crybabies, and honestly, it's mostly merited and deserved. There are two types of wrestling fans, especially in terms of the ones that take it seriously. Those that are crybabies, and those that try to bullshit themselves and others into believing that they aren't crybabies. It is what it is. I'm a crybaby, you're a fucking crybaby. Period. All right. We got those things that we whine about, we piss about, we moan about, and we bitch about, whatever the case might be. And over the years, one of those things that always gets our panties in a bunch is when somebody calls wrestling fake. You should get it. You should fake it. Oh, Jesus Christ. However, with that said, when it comes to the crybabiness and bitchiness and pissiness and moaniness, especially when it comes to somebody using the word a fake in relation to professional wrestling, the wrestling fans clearly go to the back of the bus, and the idiots in the professional wrestling business, most specifically the wrestlers, are front and freaking center in their crybabiness and their whiningness, their pissingness, their moaningness, their bitchingness, and all of that. And if you want an example of this, although you've had numerous examples of this over the years, you saw it yesterday on Twitter when a fan tweeted at Dana White that he wishes he could afford a UFC pay-per-view, and that's an area where the WWE has him beat by charging $9.99 a month, and Dana White basically said, well, it should be $9.99 a month because it's fake. And, of course, some wrestling fans got upset about it, and what else would you expect? But what should be even less surprising is once that was said by somebody like a Dana White involved with UFC that many professional wrestlers took to Twitter and tried to show their outrage and were crying and pissing and moaning and bitching and complaining about it, showing it, you can't see the abodos, Dana White, we're awesome, wrestling is real, you're stupid. Oh, fucking Christ. For the love of God. Could somebody please educate professional wrestlers on this? Because clearly, they've taken one too many chair shots to the fucking head. When somebody says that professional wrestling is fake, it is not necessarily in relation to whether or not people actually get injured plying the trade or the craft, okay? Skip fucking over it. It's related to the fact that it's predetermined. It's scripted. It's not real. It is fake. It is. Accept it. It's not just talking about the fact you take bumps and bruises, you have injuries and all this and all that other crap. It's about the fact that it's predetermined. It's scripted. It's planned out. It's choreographed. You sit there and plan out spots and plan out matches ahead of time. It is fake. Like so many other forms of entertainment, it's not real. And while professional wrestling fans are allegedly supposed to be the biggest marks of all, as I have alluded to on several occasions, accurately so, the biggest marks of all when it comes to professional wrestling are those that actually work in the professional wrestling business, most specifically the professional wrestlers, their fucking selves. Now, wrestling fans are supposed to be the marks, yet it's wrestlers who are buying UFC pay-per-views, wrestlers who are freely promoting UFC. They are directly promoting a product that takes away from them, their livelihood, their ability to feed their families, what have you. When a wrestling fan who doesn't work in the business and doesn't get his income derived off of the wrestling business talks about UFC, forks over money for UFC, pay-per-views, what have you, that's one thing. But you've got ding-dong dumb dicks like Gregory Helms and others too, Jeremy Borash, what have you, who sit there and buy UFC pay-per-views, freely promote UFC, something that directly impacts the fan base of professional wrestling and takes audience away from professional wrestling and takes money out of the pockets of people in professional wrestling. But somebody like me is the fucking mark. I'm not the one sitting there and promoting another company or another form of entertainment that is directly competing with me and my livelihood. Excuse the fuck out of me, but if we look at the grand scheme of things, I think it could be easily said, obviously, obviously, 
that these people in professional wrestling, the professional wrestlers themselves, are the biggest fucking marks of all. He got Triple H and Stephanie posted pictures in Rousey gear talking about, good luck, Ronda! Who's the fucking marks here? So again, I can't be that surprised when these big babies, and that's exactly what these professional wrestlers are, big fucking babies, get all butthurt over something that has nothing to get butthurt at all about. You're called workers because wrestling is a work. That means it's not real. I realize you live in a reality where you might believe it to be real. But you are called workers for a reason. Part of the reason being you're supposed to be working fans. You're supposed to be working whatever it is you're supposed to work. So that way you can work people, the marks, the alleged marks in this case, out of their fucking money. That's why they call it a work. It's not real, goddammit. It's scripted. It's predetermined. The form of entertainment itself, by and large, is fake. No different than movies and other television shows, what have you. Yes, when people do stunts on TV shows or movies, there are potential real consequences. It, people could get hurt. People could die. And it's happened before. But it still doesn't change the fundamental fact that the movies are fucking fake. You know, unless we're talking about Space Jam where Michael Jordan is saving the universe from basketball playing aliens, that's 100% legit and true. Because for God's sake, they took Sean Bradley's powers. Sean Bradley! Movies are fake. Descripted, pre-planned, predetermined, choreographed entertainment. And I find it amazing that for so many of these people that work in professional wrestling, that are professional wrestlers, that have been in the business for so damn long, and they're supposed to be so good at what they do in terms of working people, that they still can't figure out when they're getting fucking work themselves. Obviously, Dana White is working you to get more attention on the UFC, and as always, mission accomplished. Score one for everybody else. Once again, another clear-cut example of why North American professional wrestling is the bullshit, shit, shitty shape, excuse me, that it's fucking in. It's because of dumb dicks like this. That's exactly what the fuck it is. And after so many years, you still can't come up with a better argument to defend your sport other than taking it all emotional to the heart. Be like, oh, you can be when I broke my nose. You do know. Oh, shut the fuck up. Do I really need to spell it out for people in professional wrestling how to combat this UFC superiority stupidity? First of all, the why don't you try it logic doesn't fucking work. Nobody fucking cares. So kick that shit out of your fucking head. Like you see Seth Rollins, oh, he's so qualified to talk about it because he's done a million matches, right? This is the same Seth Rollins, not to just call him out, but this is a representation of others. All these other wrestlers that'll sit there and complain about this fucking hotel, even though they never worked in the hotel industry. They have no clue what goes on behind the scenes. They don't understand the logistics of this, that, or everything else. Same thing when the airline loses their freaking luggage. They're bitching and moaning, complaining about that. They could sit there and have opinions on things like television shows and other sports that they've never fucking done. They can sit there and have an opinion on whether they like the iPhone or an Android phone better. But somehow, when it comes to professional wrestling, you have to have done it in order to understand whether it's good or not or understand anything about it. And that's just fucking stupid. Because in large part, a lot of people involved in professional wrestling, as you can see, based off of the way they fucking act to something like this, are fucking stupid. And in the grand scheme of things, to answer somebody like Dana White says, clearly these people involved with professional wrestling after all these years and all these people saying this shit still can't fucking figure it out. Here you go, I'll help you out. How pathetic is that? Look at what else is fake. Fucking politics. Oh, this Democrat is evil because of this. This Republican is evil because of that. Even though they will get political contributions from the same entities and the same groups and the same parties, they will take divergent paths to ultimately reach the same fucking conclusion and point. It's fake. It's fucking predetermined. It's scripted. It has been for fucking years. Look at reality television. I love the people that sit there and tell me, well, wrestling's stupid because it's fake. Have you watched all these fucking reality shows? What a scourge on our fucking society they are and our entertainment in particular today. These hokey choreographed, poorly acted, poorly written pieces of shit. Reality, my fucking ass. They're faker than anything professional wrestling has ever fucking done. And then we look at other sports too, like the NFL, the NBA, Major League Baseball, anything that involves gambling, 
referees, judges, umpires, anything like that, and big money on the line in Vegas, you think that shit's always 100% above board? You always think that every single time it's 100% legit? Grow the fuck up. Pull your head out of your fucking ass. Do not tell me that sports like the NFL, even though, again, it's built off of the reality of the action in the game and this and that, it's still fake at the end of the day because you're telling me that the powers that be don't want certain teams and certain players to advance to a certain point and certain things to happen? Give me a fucking break. Now look at the UFC. It's fucking fake too. Oh, the UFC superiority. Oh, the UFC heads that'll sit there and see, this is real combat fighting, wrestling's gay. Even though when you look at UFC, one of the best maneuvers is one man's fucking straddling another and the guy's got his legs wrapped around the other dude. He's like, fucking mount me, dude. Oh, but wrestling is gay, right? Oh, get the fuck out of here. You've got Vegas gambling. You've got judges. You've got a specific arranging of fights, matches, whatever the fuck you want to call them. And you've got a WWE-style hype machine. UFC tries to run themselves like the fucking WWE. And again, I will emphasize, just because you always buy into the action of the hitting, the punching, the tapping out, and this and that, anything that involves Vegas money, anything that involves judging, has the element of being prearranged, predetermined, scripted, fake, what fucking have you? And if you are that naive to believe that every single UFC fight is 100% real and 100% above board and every result is legitimate, then I pity you because you are fucking sad and you live in a naive shell of complete and total stupidity. Come on, man. I mean, and let's talk about the UFC as a whole. This is a UFC who their biggest pay-per-view draw of all time was a WWE guy, Brock Lesnar. Their second biggest draw of all time would be John Bones Jones. Yeah, that John Bones Jones who loves to sit there and do the booger sugar and then hit and run fucking accidents and make sure that he runs back and gets his money and then bolts town. Now their biggest star is freaking Ronda Rousey. She of the 20 to 30 second freaking fight. Now let me ask you this. Do we really think by now that we are supposed to be expected to believe that Ronda Rousey is so superior and so much better than anybody else and so fucking dominant that nobody else can figure out how to last more than 30-something seconds in a fucking fight with her? Look at the fight she just had. The bitch lasted, what, 36 seconds? Before that, 14 seconds? I think it was one before that was like 30-something seconds? Why the hell is this happening? It's not because of Ronda Rousey's superiority in her skill and anything else. It's because they're serving up people to Ronda Rousey because part of her whole mystique at this point is the fact that she annihilates people quickly. And with no more Brock Lesnar in the fold, no more John Bones Jones in the fold, and frankly a bunch of fighters that nobody gives a fuck about on the mainstream level, Ronda Rousey's the only one. You have to protect your investment in Ronda Rousey, period. And anybody that tells you otherwise is a fucking idiot. Meaning that UFC and Dana White make sure that Ronda Rousey is put in certain situations that are advantageous to her. They make sure that certain things happen so that way Ronda Rousey could reign supreme because at this point in time, that is what's best for the business of the UFC. For all of these professional wrestlers that are sitting there and getting all butt hurt and upset about Dana White talking shit about their product, can't you come up with a better argument than other than, oh, you should try this, or oh, if this is real, how come this nose is going this way, and one eye is going that way, while the other eye is going that way, watching it, and going back this way? The fuck? UFC has Vegas gambling, you know, in a lot of ways it's a Vegas company, so that should already fucking tell you what it is, similar to, oh, I don't know, fucking boxing. It's got judges, just like boxing. Oh, yeah, because judges are such a great way to determine who wins or loses, and those results are never bought and paid for or never set in stone ahead of time or prearranged or predetermined, right? We're seriously expected to believe that Ronda Rousey is cleaning these bitches' clocks in 30 seconds or less. Get the fuck out of here. Legitimately, like these girls can't run around the octagon for two minutes? I mean, come on. If you can't see this, you're being blinded by your own sheepish stupidity, period. And in terms... Of UFC, and again, just speaking to how ridiculous these professional wrestlers are, and how after all these years, they still can't figure out how to put together a fucking decent argument to defend their fucking product, or fire back, or better yet of all, ignore it, but they can't because of the fucking marks that they are. Look at the UFC on Fox. 
Like the whole buildup, the prelims for UFC 190 last night. That shit was showing on Fox 1. Fox would rather show golf than UFC in fucking prime time. And when they do show it on prime time, let me get this straight. The UFC runs their fight night every three to four months, is it, on Fox? And it has a bunch of action and this and that. And it's not overexposed. It's not overly done. Yet, they still can't equal the ratings on Fox, meaning free TV available to anybody with a freaking antenna. They can't do the ratings of a terribly written and produced crappy-ass Raw show that is overexposed for three hours each and every single week on a Monday night against so much more premier competition on cable. And again, they're on USA Network, meaning they're on cable. Not in as many households nearly as UFC's fight nights are on Fox. And yet UFC can't average the same rating that WWE does, even on their worst days, in a week-in, week-out basis with a piece of shit product they put out on the USA Network on Monday nights. The fuck is anybody taking Dana White seriously? You know, and for all the shit that Dana White's going to sit there and talk about the WWE, he best believe she's going to make sure that Ronda Rousey's involved in some way at WrestleMania 32 because when the UFC could draw over 100,000 people to a big fight or a big event, let me fucking know in this country. Let me fucking know. All the while, WWE is probably going to set a North American indoor attendance record when their product is shit. In part, they're going to use a UFC star to help achieve that number. But we're worried about what fucking Dana White says. Who the fuck cares? The same Dana White that clearly has a Vince McMahon man crush. You're already sitting there in the first place and allowing Ronda Rousey to do anything involving the WWE. The same Dana White who presents his product in a very similar way to what the WWE used to. Who patterns himself in Dana White as very similar to Vince McMahon and tries to mimic ape and imitate Vince McMahon in so many different ways and capacities. Just in a more modern package and younger version. Why is anybody listening to Dana White when he says this shit? Talk about the fact that his product, frankly, isn't all that good, that his pay-per-views are overpriced. Like the one fan tried to point out, they are overpriced because they're shit. But instead, when he sits there and tweets back about his shit being fake, whose fucking shit is fake? UFC, WWE, it's the same fucking thing. And for all the people that want to sit there and suck on the dick of Dana White and suck all over the lactating teat of UFC. Keep in mind, dumb dicks, that the majority of you are either still currently professional wrestling fans, wrestling fans at heart, or at one point in time were wrestling fans, no matter how much you try to distance yourself from it. And no, just because you watch UFC and you think, because I watch it, that means I go to my dojo and I do it, that means I could beat your ass, that makes UFC better. No, you fucking idiots. It means UFC is shit, just frankly, like North American professional wrestling today is shit. But do these wrestlers, man, you got Bully Ray tweeting, shut up, Jeremy Borash, you fucking idiot. Why are you giving direct competition your money? Go to the fucking bar, you dumb dick. You got Hurricane Helms always talking about UFC. All the while, you're still going out and making appearances on the independent scene. Aren't you working as an agent for TNA? Again, why in the fuck would you sit there and devote any of your energy, time, effort, or resources, ah, fuck it, to anything that isn't professional wrestling? It's one thing if a Dave Meltzer talks about it because, hey, guess what? He makes his money in part off of fucking talking about it and watching it. Instead, this is how stupid professional wrestlers are. They'll talk about UFC for free, and then they will sit there and support UFC by giving them their fucking money, and all the while not reinvesting that money in their product, in the wrestling business, and therefore helping UFC to further siphon fans away from the professional wrestling business. Who is the fucking marks here? Yes, what Dana White is ignorant and stupid, because Dana White is fucking ignorant and stupid. But it would be hard to know that based off of the response of not the professional wrestling fans. We'll leave them alone. Maybe they get enough shit. Deservably so. But the people that really look like the idiots here 
are professional wrestlers and people in the wrestling business. After all this time, you can't figure out a better defense mechanism. After all this time, you can't figure out how to structure a better argument. After all this time, you can't figure out a way to not get bothered when somebody calls your shit fake. Grow the fuck up. To all those people involved with wrestling, just because somebody calls it fake doesn't mean in every literal sense of the word that it's fucking fake. If you haven't figured out by now that they're referencing the fact that it's predetermined, it's scripted, it's planned, it's choreographed, and you fucking know it is, hence why they call you workers because you're supposed to be working people, the alleged marks, out of their fucking money, then I don't know what the fuck to tell you. It's fake, it's fake, it's fake, it's fake. It's not the 1950s anymore. Get the fuck over it. Jesus. And stop getting so angry when idiots like Dana White pop off at this shit. Either ignore it or figure out a way to come up with a better fucking argument. Because if you come back with the emotional bullshit of it's not fake, it makes it look worse. It makes it look fake, you dipshits. Fake, 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 fake. 